All right. Well, hey, Access Atlanta. I am here with two incredibly talented men. I mean, the founder of the Indie Night Film Festival, Dave Brown, and of course, Morris Chestnut. How are y'all doing today? Well, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. So, I mean, Dave, this is exciting time. I know we were just talking about how this is going to be my first Indie Night Film Festival, new to Atlanta. But I want to know from you, what was your motivation about, you know, creating this festival? Uh, you know, I... I was a filmmaker at Moore, you know, Morehouse College, you know, was, you know, and we had to do a short film before we graduated, and there were a lot of great short films, and I was like, how do, you know, where do they go after that? You know, I mean, do you take them, you know, you would show them, and we graduate, and they put them on the shelf, but actually, I always said that these films can get you, you know, a running start in Hollywood, because if they're great, people want to take the ideals, and they want to create them and make them into a full feature. And so it was one of those things where I said, yo, this is needed in Hollywood. And I said, give everybody a platform where you can show your short films, your web series, your trailers, your documentaries, your full features, and bring everybody that makes Hollywood turn and let them see the new talent that's coming up. And this is what it's uh, and, and now I'm taking it on the road doing, you know, it's been 11 years now. And now taking our road, I'm doing, um, I'll be doing it uh, in Miami, Atlanta, DC, Chicago, New York, uh, Dallas, uh, Philly. And we're gonna do it once a month in these different cities. And we're going to be the American Idol for films. So you become a celebrity in your city. And then we take the great films and we take them back to Hollywood, show them at the Chinese theater in Hollywood. And then we try to place them with the different networks and different studios to get them made. And this is what it's all about. It's giving them the right opportunity to step in that, that community that's going to give them the bridge to get into Hollywood. And it sounds, I mean, you could just hear it, like the passion you really have behind this. Why do you think it's so important to create this community um, and to give these creatives a space? Because, you know, there's a lot of talent out there. There's a lot of jewels out there, a lot of gems out there that just, that just want the opportunity. And, you know, my thing is this, being in this business, you know, you got to reach back. You gotta reach back and pull up. You gotta pull people up, you know? And I've seen so many times that, you know, uh, the, you know the elevator have gone up with so many people, but they didn't reach back down and bring other people up on the elevator. I've always been that person that always wanna see people win, you know? And, um, you know, when I came to Hollywood, I, I gotta give it to Morris because he was the one who was my, my high beams in, in coming into Hollywood and understanding that I learned a lot from him, you know? about your brand, building your brand, you know. Um, I always say the only thing you own in life is your name, you know, and you don't dirt that. And there's things you gotta do. If you wanna do it, you gotta go out there and grab it. You gotta go get it. Yo, know, Hollywood is not gonna come for you. You gotta go get it. You gotta go get Hollywood. And you gotta understand that in this place, there's the do's and the don'ts. I learned it from this man right here, and he helped me, you know, become who I am today. And I, I, I put it out there every time when I talk to people, I say, yo, if it wasn't for Morris, I wouldn't be in Hollywood because, you know, I was going to go to New York. He said, yo, you got to come here and be this this fish in the big pond in Hollywood if you want to make it, you know, because this is where it's at. And so I, I always say, yo, we've been brothers from day one, so I thank him all the time. <laughs> well, let's bring in your brother here. <laughs> uh, you know, you guys, of course, have been friends for so long now, yes. went to college together. What does it feel like for you in this moment? You guys are both, like, really at the top of your respective fields in are able to give back and reach back to help these upcoming creators. Oh, it's it's, uh, it's it's incredible. It's incredible to see just to see what they built. You know, this is something that is giving a lot of people opportunities because when you when you have these when you when you're starting out as any type of creative in Hollywood, whether you're an actor, director, or want to be aspiring producer, it's daunting. And for him to give people opportunity to whatever they produce, whatever they act in, to get exposure. Because Dave Brown, everybody in Hollywood knows Dave Brown from top studio execs, the top agents, managers, producers. They know Dave. Dave's had a, has, a, has an excellent name in Hollywood. So he's always brought, for decades, he's brought people together. And so that's what he's doing now. And um, and just even to hear the story that we were discussing earlier about um, the young man who did a documentary and he came to Dave Brown any night and he actually got a deal from it. Um, so those are the types of things that that's what that's what they founded Indie Night on. That was the goal, and he's accomplishing that goal, and it's just great to see him flourish like that. Oh, so sweet, all the brotherly love. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm curious, um, also from you, Morris. Yes. You know, there are going to be a lot of creatives, a lot of upcoming actors coming today too. Mm -hmm. 
that are um, interested in getting into this role, what are, you know, people always ask for advice, but what are maybe one or two actionable steps that they can take if they want to become an actor and say, following your footsteps? Okay. Well, I tell people first and foremost, because people ask me that question a lot when I go across the country, um, actually go across the world, but, um, but one of the main things is just to do it. It's so daunting. It's so it's daunting a to to follow your dreams because a lot of people try to crush your dreams. You don't even realize it. So it's daunting to follow your dreams, and then it's daunting just taking that first step. But you have to. It's imperative that you take that first step because no one is going to do that for you. Um, so I would say a just do it, and then once you do do it, focus on your craft. You know, a lot of times. People may get into the industry for the wrong or right reasons, whatever is up to them, and they think that they're just going to go to a party and they're going to talk to a producer and then they've made it, or they're going to sit, <laughs> sit in the corner at a restaurant. Let me go, oh, this producer go, let me sit in the corner at a restaurant and I'll, they're going to discover me. Yeah, I'll be seen, I'll be discovered. You know, and listen, I don't discourage, I say, okay, I mean, that could happen. I mean, you never know, it could happen, but um, if you want longevity, you have to really focus on your craft, keep yeah. working at what you do. And treat people, treat everybody with respect. Um, unfortunately, our industry, it, it primarily for a lot of people, it's an ego-driven industry. Most people want to get into it for the ego, and so when they get to a certain point, um, they don't treat people with respect. But with me, I say you always have to treat everybody with respect and be courteous and um, do what you're supposed to do. Be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there, and, um, and you can have some success. Yeah. And you know, Dave, I'm curious from you, like, you know, I was asking more, is there a lot of creatives coming, a lot of producers or, you know, just whatever it may be. What is something that you would recommend for people who are scared to take that step and say, I want to submit to Indie Film Festival. I want to, I want to go for it, but are just scared to make that first leap into it. You know, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's the word that I tell everybody that we're always used to hearing in Hollywood and that's the word no. Mm -hmm. No means next opportunity to do the things that you really want to do. You can't you can't sit back and just sell because, you know, you, you don't know, you, you may have talent, people may not want to see you shine. And sometimes you may overshine other people, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. But, you know, what I look at is I, I see people shine, I want to see you win. I want to give you the opportunity, I want to see you go to the next level. And so, it for me, you know, it, it's, it's a, a community that when you're around the right people, you know, all the people that come to Indie Night that want to see people shine, Morris himself, you know, we have Robbie Reed, we have uh, Jamie Foxx who's come there, we have all these gems that are coming to to to, to see these people shine. And the thing about it is, they don't, they don't have to come, you know what I'm saying? Because they're like, yo, his career is already going, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it, to look back and say, okay, you can be the next, you can be the next, is an important thing. So that's what we want to do, and that's what we're doing as we're taking on the road, going out and becoming the American Idol for films. Looking for those people out there, bringing them back to Hollywood and saying, hey, we have, we're the bridge. We're the bridge, give me the opportunity. And yo, there's no color lines. I don't, my thing is this, in art, there is no color. There's no color. You be black, white, it doesn't matter. Asian, you know, Filipino, Mexican, it doesn't matter. You are creating art, and art is supposed to be not about the color, but about the content that you're putting on the screen. And that's what I'm all about. And so here at Indie Night, we do it all for you. We give it to you and we want to you know, see people shine. Let me just, I just want to say something yeah. to you. I just want to say something to, the, to the, the word no. People have to understand when you're in Hollywood in any capacity, you're going to hear that a lot. A lot. <laughs> and, and, and what it is, it's, it's really how, you, how you're able to deal with it. Yeah. Some people, it's, it's crushing. Some people feel... Um, I can't tell you, even when I was starting out, how many times I went to an audition. I said, "Oh man, as long as I get this part, it's gonna be it. it's gonna be the part that's gonna take me to whatever level I want to be at." This is the one. This is, I've had this is the one a million times. Um, but you know, I, 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 it's all about how you perceive that. Like you said, so when you think of when you do hear no, when you go up for an audition, did I get it? Did I get a call back? And your agent tells you no. You immediately have to shift your focus to. Like you said, the next opportunity and keep going. So you really have to get used to hearing no because you can hear it a lot. And I tell people all the time, for every role that you know people may have seen me in, I have a hundred no's. And you're all you're constantly getting no's. It doesn't matter how high you are, you know, because there's gonna be some project that you want that they're just not gonna want you for. And you just have to be okay yeah. with that and look for the next opportunity. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 
it, it's so powerful you say that because people do kind of see that success, of course, of what they see on TV or yeah. Instagram or whatever, and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you're living the life, you're doing this and yeah. this and that, but there's a lot of work that goes in behind that. Without a doubt. All right, so I want to know from both of you, what is, if you could do a movie about yourself, <laughs> I, you two have had both incredible careers thus far. What would be the name of your individual <laughs> Dave, wow. you go first. Let's wow. hear it. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? His name of my Hollywood's Best Friend. Mm. Mm. Hollywood's Best Friend. And the reason why I say that is, um, if he can attest to this, is. Good. You know, I have a friend that talks about, he talks about, you know what spackle is? Yeah, there's stuff in the, that you put on the... Bricks. Yeah. In between bricks. I'm spackle. Mm. I like to bring everybody together. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 you, you don't really understand this. And, and, and my father, my father's a minister. He's a, a pastor. And mm. I'm pretty much my father. You know, I, I am my father. You know what I'm saying? And, he brings so many people together. And I've seen how he's touched so many people. And I feel I'm the, I'm the same way. You know, mm -hmm. I, I feel like bring, I enjoy bringing people together and seeing things uh, nourish out of, you know, connecting people. Yeah. You know, when they say this, my black book is incredible. Mm -hmm. My black book, my phones are incredible because I say, you always have to know, whenever he calls me and he says, Dave, I need such, such, I say, well, I'm gonna call such, such, I'm get it done. Yeah. I'm gonna make it happen. You know, and you know that's a that's a that's a testament to. Don't tell me no. My thing is, is if we're gonna get into place, I'm gonna get you in. Yeah. You know, because I believe that bringing people together is what we need to do more of. Number one, and and, and giving them the right opportunities. So I'm I'm, I'm spackle, and, but my my name is it's, it's gonna be Hollywood's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, that is a good one. I mean, I can't even top that. Right. That's, 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 that's too tough. Well, I, you know, I think for me, I mean. What is the title? I think for me, one of the things that, that I've always focused on, because in a, one of the things in the industry that a lot of people do is they're always looking at someone else and saying, okay, well, they got that. It either makes them feel worse about themselves. It gets them dejected. For me, it's, it's I've always said to myself, it's not it's not to the, uh, uh, to the fast or the swift, but to the steady. You know, I've always looked, because there have been people that I've started with in, in, in Hollywood, they've, they've shot up and gotten great accolades, you know, and I just saw, I just have always for myself, is just focused on myself and improving and being who I am and what I'm doing and, and focusing more on my craft. And I didn't look at other people and get dejected. Um, I looked at other people as, as inspiration yeah. and it's a, and that's a, it's a huge difference. So it's all about, it's all about, it's very similar to the word no, it's that opportunity. It's all about the perspective that you have um, with the many, many fluctuations of the business. And I don't care who you are, everyone fluctuates. You know, you can think of stars that 20 years ago that were at the top of the game, they're not there now. There are people at the top of the game went up, went down, and they're coming back up again. <laughs> so it's really about, um, so I'll just say perspective. It's about the perspective that you have um, on the world and, and, and in particular what we're talking about yeah. the industry. But I'm gonna let him wait before he, because he, he, okay. he, he sells you down. But you know, I, I believe that Morris is the leading man that will always work. I watch him, I, I've come I've come on sets and like I always see him, he treats everybody the same. And I'm gonna tell you this, if you understand this, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna look at the camera and say this, whenever you go on set, you are the one that controls your set. Yeah. If you treat everybody wrong on ground level, then your day is going to be bad. If you come in and you're the leading man and you come in and you give everybody love, you know, you're going to have a, a great set. And that's what it's all about. You know, and I, I learned I learned so much from him. And my thing is this. I watch people and I learn. I watch how not to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I watch him and I say, I learn something all the time. When I see him on set and we worked on numerous films yeah, together, yeah. and I said, I said, yo, it's fun to come to work. And in oh. any, any situation that he's in, he makes everybody, the girl that goes get the water, he makes everybody feel comfortable. He talks to him. Because, you know, it's that whole thing when you're on set, don't talk to the lead actor. Don't talk to the lead actor. It is. It's almost like that. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. not like that. And no, don't get me wrong, there are some people that are jerks. 
You know what because they don't realize and understand how to control your set and make it a, a great place to be, mm-hmm. you know? And this Very is true. what he always does. And I always say, I gotta, you will always see Morris working because Morris is that guy mm-hmm. that is a gentleman. He, he goes and respects everybody, no matter who you are. And he brings that, that, that energy to the set to say, you are important as well. Mm-hmm. So I always appreciate for what he's doing. And like I say, he's been a, a great supporter of Indian Night Film Festival. And, you know, he tells me, I, you know, I, I, I know whenever I talk to him, he's going to give me the real and tell me this or that. And so this is why I say my brother right here is is great. I always He's not going to talk about it, but I always like getting his flowers <laughs> on what it is because he, he will always work in this business. And I've seen so many people, as he said, the elevator goes up and it comes down. Mm-hmm. But this this elevator right here is always going <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Appreciate well, it. I want to give you both your flowers. Congratulations you. on the success of the Indie Night Film Festival. Um, you coming in, supporting your brother. This always. is amazing to see. And so I'm excited. It's time to go. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Give me a quick